Tuesday, August 27th, and we are going our separate ways. We are. We're splitting up. That's it. That's it for the day. <laughs> Just for the day. Uh, Terry is going to go to the, the uh, National Museum of Women in the Arts and the Portrait Gallery. Okay. And I am going to go ride a little bit of the iconic C&O Trail, which heads out of Georgetown. Even though it's supposed to be 91 degrees outside today. I might just jump in the canal. I will be hiding indoors in air conditioning and, um, and maybe stopping someplace else because I don't have you going Oh my God, another museum. I may drop it someplace else. And I might just keep writing. <laughs> uh, what time are we meeting back? Right shoot now it's five. like 11.30, so we'll shoot for between 5 and 5.30. 5 and 5.30. Let's go in. Break. So I said goodbye to Zeke about 10 minutes ago, well, he was gonna get onto, I think the G2 bus, and I am just walking down 9th Street, and I should bump into the uh, Women's um, National Museum of Women in the Arts. So here we go. Well, apparently the bus service is not as frequent as the Metro service, so I had a 25 minute wait for the next bus. So I'm gonna find a bike. All right, well, I'm trying a Lime bike for the first time. Now I've got myself on a bike lane and we're doing pretty good. Either my legs keep growing or the seat keeps dropping while I'm riding. So I just finished the National Museum of Women of the Arts and I can't tell you how delightful it was to go through a museum and not have to look at the placards to see if it was a woman artist. Um, what I was able to do is more specifically focus on where the artists were from and appreciate the art in general. Well, this costs $16 to get in. It's an extraordinary museum. The building is absolutely beautiful. I love the diversity of all of the artists and it is definitely something that they focus on. There's also a section on the Gorilla Feminist, the postcards that I got from the Hirshhorn yesterday. I'm sending some of those out to folks. I sure hope Zeke's having fun. I have not heard from him. First impressions of Georgetown is as described, Apple Store, Abercrombie & Finch, uh, high-end commercial markets. Um, busy, not really all that interesting. Just had lunch, nearly burned my mouth out. It was tasty. I'm fueled up. I gotta find a bike and a trail, start riding. All right, I think I found myself on the CNO. It's a little confusing. It jumps either side of the quote unquote canal, which doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of water in it. There's a lot of tree coverage, which is nice. It's not too warm. And with the uh, Potomac or Chesapeake or whatever the river is right over there. Wait a minute. What's that? Is that where the trail goes? I just had lunch at Olive and Fig here at the DC Center near this Coneflower exhibition, which you can see right up behind me. Lunch was a delicious, and I'm sure it was very different from what Zeke experienced since I had a new squash salad and a glass of Quico Rosé, bubbly, with some Pellegrino. Delicious, and now I'm ready to go hang out at the Portrait Gallery. Well, I was just riding along. I thought I'd try the paved trail for a moment until I see, I think my path, the CNO, is over there. So I better go back. Now we're back on the CNO. All right, they're doing some tree removal on the CNO up there, so it's closed off uh, at the locks. They have locks. It doesn't surprise me. Uh, check those out. Vintage locks, uh, still holding water. Got some wildlife in the area. Uh, I am going to turn around here and head back down into Georgetown and see what else I can find. Switching over to an e-bike now as I'm going across town. Uh, much better in traffic, uh, although there's a lot of uh, great bike lanes here.
let's try one of these. Come on, come on. Oh my God, this cannot be how this is supposed to work. It's pretty slow. E-bikes are so much better. I'll pass. So I just spent a wonderful couple of hours in the uh, Portrait Gallery and the American Art Museum. Zipped right through the presidents. I didn't care about them, especially since the first one that I saw was Trump. But there was an amazing exhibit on American women who fled to Paris in the early 20s in order to be free and do art and everybody from Gertrude Stein to actresses and writers. This was incredible. I had no idea. I thought I was just going to go see portraits, but the American art was extraordinary. And so many women artists. Uh, I was impressed. Well, we did it. We, we did. We separated and then we came back together. How was your day? Um, it was good. I loved the National Museum Women in the Arts. It was phenomenal. How was it being alone? You know, it was actually fine. And I had lunch at a place called Olive and Fig, and it was a fantastic place with these lovely chairs. And there were a lot of us women who were there by ourselves. I really enjoyed walking through the museums at my pace without worrying about you mm -hmm. or anybody else at their pace. Like you, after a while, you lag. Um, like when I, we go with, or I go with my son, Adam, Adam likes to read every little thing and he takes forever. So it was nice to go at my own pace. And I had a really, really fantastic time until I felt like I was stuck in an elevator mm. at the art gallery in the conservation area and started having a panic attack. Stuck in elevators is never good. Because as soon as I got up, I walked right down the stairs and I saw the security guard. And I'm like, that is a really slow elevator. They should tell you that before you get on that, the elevator. That should, that should actually be, be a, a label. How was your day? It was good. How was, how was your bike ride? Did the you, bike ride did you was... Did get one of the red capital bikes? I did. And it, I took it for a um, hundred minutes with the bike and it was $6. A lot of trees overhanging, a lot of shade, a little cool air coming off of the uh, Potomac. So that was beautiful. So how was it for you? I mean, it was here? great to be able to ride my bike at my own pace <laughs> and not have to worry about anybody else. I mean, so I think we're on the same page there. Yeah, because you're an only child. And so you like to be by yourself. I shared a womb as an identical twin. So for me being by myself, it even after all these years is usually less comfortable. So you must have been like in your happy place. You're on a bike in a beautiful place by yourself. Yeah, pretty much. Should we split up? I mean, are you? Should I just go out and do my own thing tomorrow, and you go do your thing? I mean, is that the way the rest of this trip is gonna go? Nah, I don't think so. I don't need you in any elevators. I'm not paying Yeah, that's okay. You probably don't need me spending what I did online. <laughs> We just had dinner at Emma's place, second place of business, La Casina, and it was amazing. It's a Roma Pizzeria. So not it's pizzeria, because they have pizza, not pizza. And the main difference is the crust. The crust. I think it's a billion degrees outside. Why did we leave the air conditioned house? Food. Yeah, and we're working on the video and we needed a little bit of a break. A little break was good. Because otherwise we could strangle each other. And we were gonna start with coffee out this morning. That, well, that was But now the it's plan. lunchtime. Yeah, because we were busy working on the video and it was like, just a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. It's kind of a black hole of energy. I am more of a builder, less of an architect. Terry is the architect of creating the structure of the story. I can cut and paste where you need me to but I don't know where I need to. It's It'll be fine. fine. It'll be it's fine. fine. It'll be fine. So let's go get some French food. Yeah, French lunch. that petite cerise, the little cherry. Hey Zeke, it is so hot outside. How do people live with this? Clothing optional. <laughs> 